those of you who don't know who these guys are, they are Celtic Frost, Mr. Tom G. Warrior, and Martin. How are you today? Perfectly fine, thank you. <laughs> That's good. So, so far, how's the tour been going with Sun Oh? Um, actually, very good. Very, very good. You know, actually, uh, the first half of the tour was with uh, 1349 right. and Sock from uh, Norway, and we'll be doing the rest of the tour uh, with Goat Whore out yes. of uh, New Orleans as well. Um, I wanted to ask you guys about the artwork on the latest album, Monotheist, from Century Media Records. What is it exactly? But This is just a, a, a piece of a, of a larger artwork. It's just an excerpt of a larger artwork. And uh, of course, it's just a face. Kind of damaged, though. Yeah, you know, it's damaged kind of like record, it's damaged kind of like music, I would say, you know, because we're damaged kind of like band. Okay, now you have Triptych, which is almost like a three-song set, and I wanted to know why you did it like that on the album. Triptych? Yeah. Art. It's a three-part piece of art, and it has to be like that. It's not contrived. It's our emotion at that given time when we, when we recorded this album, and it, it was, it had to be in three parts. It's like one of those uh, medieval paintings that were painted on, on a wooden furniture that you could open, hence the triptych. And what exactly is a monotheist, for some fans that don't know? A uh, monotheist is a monotheist. person that believes in one God. And of course, the three big monotheistic religions being Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. We're, you know, not really pointing out which one it is, although we're using a cross in the word. Now, how would you guys compare some of the songs on the new CD from the stuff back in the 80s? It's definitely a classic Celtic Frost album, and uh, even though it's something very modern at the same time, um, it's it's not a copy of our old sound, but you can hear from the first note that it's Celtic Frost. No, yeah. It's much more misanthropic, I think, than anything we've done before, you know. And what made you guys decide to go with Century Media? We wanted to have a personal connection, somebody who, who could relate to our art, not just uh, on, a, on a financial level. And uh, at the end of the day, Central Media seemed to have the much better uh, distribution, mm -hmm. and we selected them. And so far, it's been a very good relationship. Good. Yeah. What you also got to know in that regard is that we basically are our own record company. It's like Central Media is a licensing partner, you know. Oh, okay. And yeah. so far, what kind of feedback have you received from the press and the fans? It's been overwhelmingly positive, which is not something that is guaranteed because Kelly Frost is not an, not a band that's easy to digest, and our albums are not made necessarily made to please critics or the audience, they're made to please us. Yeah. And so the, the response we've gotten is, is uh, amazing and uh, we're very grateful for that. What do you foresee with the reunion of um, Celtic Frost? I don't think it's a, a reunion per se, you know. It's Tom and me, of course, uh, yes. that, that have been getting together again, but it's not like a, a sort of a classic lineup. I think this is more like a re-envisioning or reinventing Celtic Frost, because we've been away for like uh, over a decade, you yeah. know. Yeah, why? And uh, <laughs> we really had to rediscover what it was that made up our friendship and that made up this band. and. So it's not sort of like a reunion thing, and this is also one of the reasons why I think that Celtic Frost will be able to go on and why we might have a future. You know? Why did it take you guys so long to come back, and what were you doing in that whole time? That's exactly like Martin said, we first had to re rediscover our friendship. We wanted to have a true Celtic Frost album, and you can't just flick that on like a, like a light switch. Yeah, you know, we had like yeah. ludicrous offers, right, for, for coming back and playing shows, you know, some of those big festivals in Europe. All the people in the industry we were talking about were saying, like, go out, do a reunion tour, sell some merchandise, mm -hmm. and then if you still like, you can put out another record or something. And we decided to do our own way, just to, you know, like we did in the, the first time around. Well, what did you guys do this whole time? I mean, were you just writing more music? Were you having like, real jobs, day jobs? I mean, we did we did other musical projects. Mm -hmm. Martin did, did projects in, in the in the entertainment industry. I wrote the book. And there's there's all kinds of stuff that we didn't meet. Everybody was, uh, you know, pursuing their own life and uh, having their own means, you know. And uh, I was lucky enough to be kind of like successful as a as a businessman, you know, run a couple of bars and uh, yeah. a nightclub in Switzerland. He's a mogul. And, uh, <laughs> a nightclub mogul. Yes. <laughs> and um, the envy of the rest of the band. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Actually, least, I think Franco Cesar was really happy working on construction, you know. <laughs> He likes at to be in the get fresh free air. Drinks somewhere, you know? Yeah, at least you got to drink somewhere for free. Yeah, and you know, we will be allowed to film there without any problems or hassle, you know. Like some, like some places. Now, anyway. on the album, um, I guess you wrote most of the songs, Tom. No, actually, for the first time, 
all the music was uh, written about 50 50 between Martin and I and also um, the other members wrote I'm no longer the one who makes most royalties that's good no that's good you see okay as if we would have made any back in the day you know <laughs> he's a fucking mogul you know we got ripped off in the first place. place you still have well, what do most of the songs mean I'm looking at some of them like Os Absimi Velda Os Abismi Velda okay. Os no, no, Os is, is Hebrew and, and stands for knowledge well what does this whole thing mean <coughs> it's, it means entering the abyss through knowledge and uh, or by purely intellectual means, and it's after the writing by, uh, after a text by Alistair Crowley. Okay. Alistair Crowley, of course, being the famous, notorious uh, 20th century occultist and uh, a magician, you know. And uh, basically you, you start, you know, learning and get to get knowledgeable about things until you start realizing that you don't know anything. So in the end, eventually, if you pursue this for too long, you'll, you'll end up insane because you realize there's nothing to realize, you know. And that this was really uh, enticing to us. You know? What about Synagoga sat Satane? Oh. Synagoga Satanai, and it's uh, from the Synagogue. New Testament, the last okay. book of the New Testament. Everybody who knows what I'm talking about right now must have read the Bible. That is the book of Revelations. And in the book of Revelations, there's this passage where John the Revelator is uh, conferring to the enemies of Christ and uh, the congregation of the enemies of Christ is the Synagoga Satanai. So, of course, Synagoga being the, the Jewish church. But the, back then, he couldn't say church, the word ecclesia, because there was only one God and it was his church. So Satan couldn't have a church of his own. He couldn't have the ecclesia being the Latin word for church. So they just used the, the Jewish word for church because Basically, you know, the first enemies of the Christians were the Jews because they saw it as a Jewish sect, you know. That's good. It's very interesting. You want to know some more? Yeah, Thing I is, do. I really It's about, do. It's about me. It's, it's about me or us. Mm -hmm. Or better said, the way... Because I realized I was brought up a stern Catholic. My mother, mother was a Catholic religious teacher. And uh, I, myself, not considering myself a Catholic, I realized that basically by leaving the flock, I have entered hell because... To the Catholic congregation, I am still theirs. And since I don't want to be theirs, you know, I am one of their enemies. So I will end up, in their view, I will end up in hell. So I am part of the Synagogue Satanai, and I was trying to depict my kind of like Dante esque, you know, yeah. uh, overblown view of hell, you know. That's very good. Did you, I mean, did you go to church all the time when you were a kid? Did you uh, first communion, confirmation, all of that? All of that, and then some, you know. I was a. Uh, a church boy, an altar boy, you know. I didn't get manhandled though. You know, so. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that question coming up. I saw that question coming up. She was already like, "That came later." <laughs> Much later in life. <laughs> I'm not afraid of going to hell because I don't think there is a hell. Just like I don't think there is a heaven, because just simply put, have you ever imagined all those creeds out there? They got a heaven and they got a hell, and usually everybody not being a part of the congregation is ending up in hell. So if you're a Baptist, you'll end up in Catholic hell. If you're a Catholic, you'll end up in Baptist hell. If you're a Muslim, you'll end up in all the Christian hells. <laughs> and it continues like this. So everybody will end up in hell eventually, so I'm not afraid. But it's okay. When I die, no. I will simply rot chemically like every other thing, and there's no afterlife, no nothing, and I have no fear of that. It's perfect. Good. Um, do we have any last word for the fans? I hate last words, you know? I mean, Okay, like, it's not your last words. Any... Um, do you have any advice for the fans out there that want to be musicians? Don't, uh, don't, 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 don't do it. Don't Why? Because it's a crap industry. Let's put it like this. If you want to become artists, you will suffer, you know, and you will have to suffer. And if you truly suffer, most probably your art will be worthwhile, you know. So my advice is go out and uh, chart new territory because I think there is new territory to yeah, be charted out. Yeah, become a lawyer or, or a plastic surgeon. First, yeah. and then yeah. become a musician. <laughs> Become a plastic surgeon.